Hey guys, Ayana the Hair Razor here, and I'm going to show you guys how to pick the right flat iron for your short hair. So, I know when you first get your hair cut, you're like, okay, where, what, what next? Where do I start? Like, what kind of flat iron should I use? You know, what, just what, so many questions, you know? So, first, um, I'm just going to break down what kind of flat iron you should get, why to get that flat iron, and all that type of stuff. It's not very difficult, but we want to make sure that you get the right flat iron, the right bang for your buck, and that you are using the right tools for when you're at home and you're not burning out your hair. <laughs> so first, I have two flat irons here. I have a um, Red Pro Titanium flat iron. And then I have a Remington mini flat iron. Now, both flat irons are about a half inch um, in size, but they're two totally different flat irons. So first, I'm gonna start with the Red Pro. Um, the thing that I like about this Red Pro flat iron is the fact that it has a temperature gauge. Now, the biggest thing that I tell my clients when they're purchasing a flat iron um, at home is to make sure and buy one with a temperature gauge and a temperature gauge is just the little dial right here that tells you uh, what temperature it, it is so this flat iron goes from 250 all the way to 460 now why you want a flat iron with a temperature gauge is so that you can be able to control what type of heat or what type of temperature you're putting on your hair. So I definitely like this one, especially because of the size. It's long, it's a long flat iron, so I can maneuver it easily when I'm curling my hair. Um, and then of course the temperature gauge, and it has an on and off switch. Now the right temperature for your hair, um, especially your short hair, really depends on your hair texture. If you have fine to soft hair, I would definitely suggest keeping it closer to the 300, 350 range. Mm -hmm. And then if your hair is a little thicker, you can go maybe up to 410. But I would not advise you to go all the way up to 460 that this flat iron goes to, especially at home, because we do not want you burning your hair out, ladies. So don't, please don't. Now, I know you're wondering, where did I get this flat iron from? I actually got this flat iron from my local beauty supply store, and it ran for about $60. Now, this is the Red Pro Titanium 460. So you can also look online on Amazon or even the Red Pro site to see how much it would be in your area or if you can get a better deal. So yeah. The next flat iron that you can use at home that's more popular, more accessible, and more easy for people is the mini flat iron. Now this particular one is a Remington and I just got this from Target. And this flat iron was probably about $20, $25. Now the only thing with this flat iron that you have to be careful with, it has no temperature gauge. It only has an on and off switch. So on and off and it's one temperature. Now this goes up to 410, so it's, a, it's pretty safe if you have a hair texture that can handle that type of heat. Now if you don't, I wouldn't advise you buying this flat iron. Now um, these flat irons, um, the mini ones, a lot of people like these because of course they're less expensive than these. And they're smaller, they're easier to curl your hair, you can wrap it up and go, all of that type of stuff. So this one, it, it's easier, I like it as well, but I just wanna make sure that you're careful when you're purchasing this flat iron because it does not have a temperature gauge and you have to be careful of what type of heat you're putting on your hair. Now, like I said, this ran for about $20, $25. But you can also go to, it's a little extra hint for you guys, you can go to TJ Maxx, you can go to Marshalls, 
you can go to Ross and in the beauty section, they have these type of flat irons for $10, like literally $10. I wouldn't advise you to go to one of those big chain beauty supply stores. I'm not going to name them, but because they kind of overprice these. I've seen these up to $40 and I'm like, there's no temperature gauge. I don't know what type of heat I'm putting on my hair. So $40 for this. Eh. So if you want to save, I would say looking at one of your bargain stores and you can get this for about $10 or even your local beauty supply store would have it as well. So these are the two types of flat irons that you can get for your short hair, especially when you have a pixie cut. And also just making sure that it has a temperature gauge or if it doesn't have a temperature gauge, that it's a decent temperature for your hair. So no more than 410 degrees. Now, if you want, if your hair is a little bit longer, of course, you're going to get a bigger flat iron. So you can go into the inch, the half inch, and possibly even two inches as well. But you're going to follow the same rules for those types of flat irons as well. Make sure and look for a temperature gauge or make sure that you are getting the right temperature for your hair. So I hope you guys like this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to The Cut Life, and also check me out on my channel at The Hair Razor TV. Love you guys, peace.